The year was 1953. America's borders were filled with racial tension and uncertainty. The Reverend Billy Graham was sailing uncharted territory when he did the unthinkable. He held a crusade in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where thousands of men, women, and children of all races sat together and worshiped the Lord. But when God looks at you, he doesn't look on the outward appearance. The Bible says he looks upon the heart. He took his fight to end segregation to the streets. Graham had been preaching here at Madison Square Garden to thousands nightly, but very few blacks came. So at the suggestion of a colleague, he asked Reverend Howard Jones for help. Jones recommended that Graham take his message to the streets of New York, and that's exactly what he did. I decided I was never going to speak to any more segregated audiences. And he said, I want it to be that way. He said, what would you suggest that we do? I said, if blacks aren't coming, go where they are. He said, what do you mean? I said, go to Harlem. Graham preached at Salem Methodist Church to thousands. The next week, he went to Brooklyn. And slowly but surely, the Crusades in New York became increasingly integrated. Prominent singer Ethel Waters attended the event and rededicated her life to Christ. Graham even invited his good friend, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., to attend one of the events. We thank thee this evening for the marvelous things which have been done in this city through the dynamic preaching of this great evangelist. We ask thee, O oh God, to continue blessing him, give him continued power and authority, and as we listen to him tonight, grant that our hearts and spirits will be open to the divine inflow. Graham faced a flurry of criticism from both blacks and whites, but that did not deter him. Some whites wanted to know why you would fool around with these people, you know. And some said, if you're going to integrate your team, we will not support you, we will not give you money. So they used all kind of pressures on him. But he said, I don't care. I'm going to stick by my guns. Some of the criticisms were that uh, uh, Mr. Graham was not concerned about the, the black community and that he didn't speak enough about civil rights. Graham went to Dr. King for advice. Martin Luther King uh, suggested to me that I stay in the stadiums in the South and hold integrated meetings because he was probably going to take to the streets. He said, I'll probably stay in the streets and I might get killed in the streets. But he said, I don't think you ought to because he said, uh, you will be able to do things I can't do and I can do some things you can't do, but we're after the same objective. And so he did. 